Hey everybody, it's Flexfair, and welcome back to more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Alright. Last episode, we defeated Lord Crump. Oh, this time. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Uh, he's on a computer. Uh, never mind. Hey, you there! What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Alright. And we are back with Peach. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Seeing it right in front of him. Hmm. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tick, really. Ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Alright, so let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm a little faster, Peach. Jesus. Alright. Let's come in here. Let's ride the elevator up. And, of course, we don't go up one floor, we go up two. <laughs> you will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus' room. Exit the elevator, enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Alright. So basically we gotta come through here. So yeah, this time we go this way. And gotta look for the room with the green lamp above it. And there it is. Alright, so let's enter here. And I remember this one. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus' room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be mem memos left in this room by the x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. So yeah, we do got a bunch of notes here. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. And no, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. And we got one over here. Place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Alright. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Alright, so let's just grab up all these potions. I know which order to set them in, so... Um, so basically, since we can't place it on the far right, but there has to be two potions between it. Um, so the red will go there. Instead, there's two potions between the red potion and the green potion, so the green potion goes there. And we have to place the blue potion next to the red potion, and the orange potion goes right here. Yes, they are placed where I like it. Alright. So now we gotta do this thing. Oh, well, first let's press this button here. And then... We'll have this little cup here, and we gotta press these buttons as it goes along. Um, there are two other things she can become besides a invisible. 
Um, if you mess this up, she can become either small or she can become a giant. It's kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> Anyways. Um, even if I do, like, mess this up, which... The only part I could actually really mess up is, like, after we get done making uh, the potion here and we have to heat it up. So yeah, we're having another thing from a chapter 4's interlude from the first game. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Alright, here we go. So, basically... Alright. I can just watch on my OBS here. Even if I do mess this up, I'll probably just cut to where, you know... Alright, come on. I think we're almost there. And... Now. And I hope I did this right. I mean, it, it looks... I mean, it's green, so... I don't know, if I messed up, I'll just probably redo it. By my calculations, should be finished, but... Did it come out correctly, do you think? Alright. So let's see. Let's see, did I do this right? Yes, I did! I did it right the first time! Sweet! Alright, so... So basically we have to take off our dress now. <coughs> so we gotta walk around invisible and naked. Man, he... Tech just asks for so much, man. Uh, anyways, I'm glad I got this pretty much done <laughs> the way I needed to get it done. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's head into Sir Curtis' room. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that was creepy. Why are the doors even open even though there's no one here? Malfunction or am I just totally losing it here? Sounds like you're just totally losing it, bud. Anyways, let's make our way to Sir Curtis' room. I'll probably just cut to Sir Curtis' room. Alright, and here we are. So we gotta come back up behind here, and we gotta come through here. And now, as you can see, he's got those piranha things from a... <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, come over here. You... It, the discs look like uh, Famicom discs. <laughs> so now we gotta... I wish I had a chair like that, man. That would be nice. I'm gonna put the data disc and look! It's a... It's a Famicom. Look at the screen. It's a Famicom boot menu. And there's Mario. And then there's Luigi. <laughs> uh, awesome. <laughs> Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. Alright, let's put the disc back. And then let's make our way back to tech. Anyways, that's a pretty cool little easter egg there. Yes. Alright, and we are back. So... Alright, let's... Well, first she has to get her dress on, because obviously she can't become non-transparent without her dress. Otherwise, we would see her naked. Anyways, gotta drink the green potion. I don't know if you can drink the... I don't even think it allows you to drink the other potions. Um, eh, I don't know if they even do anything. Like, yeah. Anyways, let's head back. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. Alright. Wait. I've written my message. Would you send it? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I really hate these peach interludes. Hmm. At least the next one I don't think is all that, you know, serious though, at least. Oh, I think the next one's actually short, thankfully. And it says, Paige, I will protect you. No. 
And it just goes dark. And we'll be moving on to the Bowser interlude. I actually like this Bowser interlude. This Bowser interlude is actually... Like, I like this one, actually. Where he's in Twilight Town. <laughs> and there's Lord Crump. Uh, Black. What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's on because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. Alright, basically who we gotta talk to here is Lord Crow. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Bildum said she lost her Super Bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad. Bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. And apparently he found it. Bam! Got it! Yeah, I'm the man! I'm the man. <laughs> now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog! Buh, 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 buh. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy! You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Buh, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? Oh, turtle boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of? You? Buh, 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 if you think you can take me, then try it, Shelby. All troops support. I love this one. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <coughs> <laughs> you dare scoff at us, Koopa Clan! Form up! <laughs> Whoa, well played. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Buh, whoa. Oh, I'll go left. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, Turtle Dork Super Bomb! Incoming! And it does nothing. <laughs> And, oh, <laughs> and ba oh crud! Bowser is such an idiot. Oh, but I love it. I love it. <laughs> and that ends off the Bowser interlude. Oh, gotta love it. I love Bowser in this game. I love him in Super Paper Mario as well. All right. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Huh, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get back home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now let's get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is there is to it, then. Am I not correct to see, Captain Mario? Ah, Mario. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? Yes, very good. They'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's be on our way, hmm? Alright. And that pretty much does it for this episode. So, next time on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we'll be doing some things around Rogueport. Uh, so, like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified on post. Down this video, be sure to check out our parts if you like this one. And I'll see you guys later.